Costa Rica prostitution. What's the deal with prostitutes? You may have heard about the amazing party scene in Costa Rica and it's all true, especially the part about the Costa Rica women. If you so choose, you can meet a prostitute at a bar, brothel, or even on the street without sneaking around or worry about breaking the law. You can find working women in many places in Costa Rica, but most are confined to San Jose and Jacob. In fact, you'll find that prostitution is accepted as a legitimate way for women in the sex trade to make a living. Professional sex workers are supposed to be regularly examined by a doctor, eligible for a free exam every 15 days as long as they carry an ID card from KJ Costa Ricans to Seguro Social Pool CC. You'll even find articles right in their national newspaper, the Costa Rican Times, exploring the role of prostitution in Costa Rican society. We know by now that Costa Rica's society is very progressive, on par with many Northern European nations when it comes to social issues. The government does aim to protect its citizens by making many activities that commonly accompany prostitution illegal. Those include facilitating the prostitution of another person, or pimping, human trafficking, prostitution rings, etc., which are all illegal. Of course, anyone caught soliciting a minor for sex will be punished with the steepest penalties enforceable under the law. For those coming to visit Costa Rica from the United States, Canada, or other countries where paying for sex is seriously frowned upon, legal prostitution may seem awkward at first. However, tens of thousands of women make a good living in the system and wouldn't change a thing. In fact, studies have shown that legal prostitution is a huge benefit to the women that voluntarily choose to work in that trade. 2009, women who do sex work have incomes that are far superior to those they would have as cleaning ladies, receptionists, cheap laborers in the maquila sector, or other jobs that fit in their education level. And a recent study argues convincingly that sex work enables some Costa Rican women not only to subsist, but also to give themselves and their families a relatively high standard of living. That said, the better your Spanish is, the better the experience you will have. When I first moved to Costa Rica, I purchased this book about Spanish verbs. It's just over $10 and my whole verb learning was done while doing my morning business. This book dumbs down the entire process by doing conjugations as well as putting each word in a sentence. Where to find hookers in Costa Rica? In that area, you'll find everything from CD pickup bars to dingy strip clubs to pay by the hour motels where guests assume the extra fees. Women hang out in the lobby of the famous Hotel Del Rey, a common hangout for prostitutes. Of course, you'll find that the business takes shape in all places in the country. However, it won't ever be as in your face as it is in this district. While beach towns may have a few women on the prowl, it's much more discreet and it won't typically be a destination for sex tourism like the Gringo Gulch. The ultimate hack to meeting women in Costa Rica in 2019. After being in Costa Rica for so long, and mainly in the suburbs outside of San Jose, I've had the ability to not only test ways to meet women in Costa Rica, but also compare cliff notes with other men who are doing the same. If you are a tourist visiting the country, imagine pre-screening women prior to your trip and having several of them lined up to meet over the duration of your stay. You can sign up for free, take a look around, but once you meet those sexy Latinas of Costa Rica, you'll want to upgrade to the paid membership so you can line up dates. In my experience, these women want to be much more than just amigos, if you know what I mean. So what does prostitution look like in Costa Rica? Many tourists and foreigners that touch. Down in San Jose, visit the notorious Hotel Del Rey, one of the most famous sex hotels in the world. Among good restaurants, bustling casinos, and multiple boisterous bars, hundreds of sex workers look to engage clients for the evening, or just a few hours, in the rooms upstairs. Remember that even though Costa Rica is the wealthiest country in Central America, the majority of its citizens are just trying to earn a humble living day. Today, unlike the perception in the U.S. or other rich countries, working in the legal sex trade in Costa, Rica doesn't indicate that you're a drug addict or lazy. Consider that the average female Costa Rican college graduate only earns $600 a month and it's a wonder why more women aren't working in the field. 
However, Costa Rica prostitutes can charge anywhere from $10 or $20 for a quickie on the street to $1,000 a night for a high-end, sophisticated call girl with model looks. But the typical transaction between a legal sex worker and a tourist probably runs $30, $60 a it's also rumored that many of the streetwalkers in San Jose are hive positive and banned from mainstream establishments. Visiting Costa Rica? Okay, well, Costa Rican women are some of the most beautiful and exotic in the world. But there are also plenty of gorgeous ebony women from the Caribbean side of the country and perfectly bronze beach babes from the coasts. Tis also tend to be proud, independent, and won't think twice about standing up for themselves. The sex trade is also populated by a whole lot of immigrants, young women who come to Costa Rica, legally or illegally, to try and make some money to support their poor families back home. So outside of the Hotel Del Rey, where might one encounter prostitutes in Costa Rica? In San Jose and other cities in Costa Rica, you'll find plenty of brothels packed with hard-drinking locals, gentlemen's clubs that look like A-S-E-S, -E strip clubs and overcharge accordingly, and massage parlors bailing sex. For money. However, although prostitution may be legal, tourists should always exercise extreme caution. The scene isn't as organized or savory on the streets, where drug use, crime, and diseases are more prevalent. There are also plenty of freelancers, women who work in the sex trade but aren't registered or get regular health checkups. Way too often, tourists are robbed by sex workers that pilfer things from their hotel rooms, take advantage of drunk patrons who literally have their pants down, or even slip something into their drink. Therefore, it's suggested that visitors put their valuables in their hotel safe. Stay in credible establishments, don't walk around the streets at night, and even avoid being on the beach late. Furthermore, the involvement of a middleman usually signals that the transaction will be more expensive or that you might be getting set up. Taxi drivers, for instance, will usually drive you to an establishment that offers them the biggest kickback. Don't get too drunk. Always be respectful to women and anyone else you encounter and to exercise common sense. Disclaimer, we are not promoting prostitution in Costa Rica. We are simply informing people as to the social climate as it pertains to this subject. Books on sex in Costa Rica. With the popularity of this topic, there are many opportunistic authors out there who can guide you into every nook and cranny of the adventure.